Hey guys, Steven here, Fanatic Perspective. Want to have a real quick video, real quick chat with y'all afternoon. I'm here kind of just having some lunch and as many te excited Texas fans today, the start of Texas football practice, spring practice, and just reading all the reports and, and, and seeing how the guys are doing, getting the initial feedback to everything. So I just wanted to kind of jump on and, excuse me, share some of my thoughts because um, you know, as we're starting to hear some things come out, you know, already some 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 jostling for for certain positions, but more so just what we're looking at, what we're looking to see throughout the spring. Um, quick thank you to our sponsor, BUSR, BUSR.com slash Fanatic, the official sports book, the official betting partner of Fanatic Perspective. Hit up uh, BUSR.com slash Fanatic. Sports 100 FP is the promo. We still are doing the bet $1 win 10K contest through the Elite Eight, so go check it out. I know we're, we're, we're upset that the men got eliminated by Purdue, but our ladies are still in there uh, as they make their way to the Sweet 16. Very excited for Vic Schaefer and the crew there. Uh, and, and so a lot to, to still look at those of us who are big, big college basketball fans and participating in March Madness. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is, and I'll have the link below, the Justice Finkley signing Queenie B on Twitter. I'll have the link in the description, but Queenie B on Twitter, Justice Finkley signing in Austin, March 26. So go check them out, show some love um, to, you know, we're already hearing some good stuff out of him. Uh, from now, winter conditioning, already first day of practice out there making his presence felt. So shout out to brother Finkley and just the opportunities these student athletes have on the 40. Um, also, you know, uh, subscribe, hit the subscribe button and make sure you're following me on Twitter. Where's my Twitter handle? Uh, at Fan Perspective. We are currently in the Longhorn Bracket Contest. So if you want to support uh, Tattoo Bakers doing this, this, uh, you know, best Longhorn Twitter accounts contest. So if you want to help us, you know, definitely helps exposure for the channel and our platform. Go send over a vote for Fanatic Perspective. A lot of great people we're competing against. You know, I'm a big fan of Wendy, um, you know, who I'm competing against right now. Doc, you know, Doc Allen might be down the road. Kieran's in the bracket. Texas Homer's in the bracket. Texas Football Talk's in the bracket. Lots of great Longhorn, you know, creators and, and people that really move the conversation in the community. Anyway, so we had our first spring practice today, and, and I kind of gave – our breakout players and the one of the guys I let with was Javian Sanders. And to hear right away, um, you know, him running with the ones and, and really getting some of that work and some of the positive things we are hearing, you know, some of the the whispers and rumblings you're hearing about Jatavian Sanders figuring out at tight end is really impressive and encouraging for us as Texas fans, considering his talent level and what he can bring to this offense. I mean, you know, a lot of conversation about, oh, we need a third receiver. Well, Jordan Whittington, if he's healthy, he's a third receiver. You know, you expect the, the transfers who were pretty much outside of Ryan Watts, they pretty much bumped everybody down to, to kind of work their way up. So, you know, assuming Nayer is, gets to where he's supposed to and you have Nayer worthy, I expect Jordan Whittington to be that receiver. The, what you're looking for is X factors at the other positions. We know what Billingsley will give us in the flex tight end position, but if – Jatamian Sanders is, 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 in my opinion, ahead of schedule. And, you know, Gunnar Helm right there as well, Juan Davis right there. That's a difference maker, though, with what Jatavian can bring to the table. So hearing that today and hearing what I've been hearing the last few weeks is extremely, extremely encouraging for me. Uh, I know many of you are going to say, hey, what about Quinn Ewers? What, how's he doing? Um you know, clearly splitting with with uh, with Hudson Carr. Hudson's kind of taking the lead right now as he's, as he's the incumbent. But what I'm all, only thing I'm looking to pay attention to with this is the rep distribution and seeing them both against live bullets come spring ball. Uh, unfortunately, college football is the only level of football really where you don't really get any scrimmages against somebody else. So the closest thing you get to game reps is that one spring game. And I don't put a whole bunch of stock into the spring game, but it was disappointing last year the way the reps were distributed between Hudson Card and Casey Thompson. So what I, the only thing I'm really paying attention to here is how that shakes out because Steve Sarkeesian, I don't expect, unless there's an injury or a transfer, 
I don't expect him to, he doesn't need to announce a starter until fall. So just where's Quinn? How's he coming along? Yeah, you guys have to keep in mind, Quinn's learning the offense. Isaiah Nair's learning the offense. You know, Billingsley knows it, but the, the rest of these other guys that are coming in, even the guys on defense, um, some of the younger guys are getting up to speed and ramping. Um, you know, I did hear that they flipped the tackles with Carrick and Jones. Jones was actually better at right tackle before he moved to left uh, under Herb Hand. So cool with that. You know, definitely opens the door for people like Kelvin Banks and, you know, even, even you know, Cam Williams and guys like that. So um, some interesting tidbits. The last thing I'm paying attention to, though, and I want to also give a shout out to uh, a lot of shout outs today. Shout out to Jeff Howe at 247 and Longhorn Bliss, you know, him and Rob B, you know, they do their thing. Um, but Jeff wrote an article about 10 things he was looking out for. So I'm not even going to go. I'll have that link below, too, because it was really, really good and well written in terms of what he's uh, kind of diagnosing. But for me, the big thing is definitely the secondary and, and where guys are lining up. I expect them to mix and match. And that's going to be a really great evaluation there because you can already kind of see the pieces are where we expected with the other positions. I didn't see too many other surprises. Shout out to Baron Sorrell, um, who we know that they like, but they decided to redshirt last year um, over there already starting to make his way um, at, at, at one of the edge positions. But with the secondary in particular, I want to know where's this man during practice? Where's Gary P at? And what's he doing? I, that's that's one of the big things I, I would like to get some ins, insights on. Honestly, every practice report, if possible. Um, what's his role? What's he up to? How's he? You know, is he more standing back and evaluating and behind the scenes? Is he is he actually hands on and teaching? Um, I, I'm just curious because I think that definitely plays into the back end of how that defense shapes up. I think he will have a say in there. Not to take anything away from you know, Blake Gideon or, or Joseph or anybody else. But I just want to know, I, I want to have a Gary P tracker for practices. But um, yeah, man, it's exciting. Hopefully you guys can hear the excitement of my voice. It's, it, it's a Texas fan, football coming back, excited to get down there for the spring and see these kids and support them. Go, you know, like I said, down, you know, Austin, go support Justice Finkley. Hit that link below. This is just a quick check-in. Y'all let me know in the comments what you're looking to see uh, and, and, and kind of what you're paying attention to. For me, I want a Gary P. tracker at all times to see what's up. Maybe if once I once I uh, get off work, I'll, I'll I'll dive back into some of the reports and maybe they already have that that content for us ready to go. But hey, support the channel, subscribe, you know, vote for us in the Twitter contest. Everything that we got going on is about supporting the brand. So I appreciate y'all so very much for tuning in. Horns always up.